I never knew I wanted to become a pilot. You know, everyone was like, no, you can't do that. Like, women are not supposed to fly. Um, my dad basically told me, if he sees a female pilot flying a plane, he will get off that plane. But right now, they're so proud of my achievements. My mom is like getting phone calls from everyone in Nigeria. So right now they are proud, uh, but um, I feel like I would have really appreciated if they showed up when I needed them. I have a miracle is a chuku. I have a from Anambra State, Nigeria. I have a pilot. I initially came to the U.S., to the United States to um, pursue nursing as a career um, because that was what my mom told me that that's the path you have to go to succeed in the United States. So I didn't, I didn't think about becoming a pilot until I met a professional pilot. He basically put the idea into my head to go on a discovery flight. So that's what I did. I went on a discovery flight. And that sealed it for me. Um, coming back home, I told my parents, no one wanted to support me financially. And I started researching how to find the means to do it without my parents. And that's when I looked up um, some student loans and that was it from there. No, you don't have to go to university. You don't have to go to college to become a pilot. It's a skill. Over here in the United States, there are basically, what, four or five licenses to go through. The first license would be the private pilot license. The second license would be the instrument rated license. With the private pilot license, you're restricted to certain places you can fly. But with the instrument rated, you can actually go up in the clouds. The third license is the commercial pilot license. After that, you go ahead and get your multi-engine license where you can now fly planes with two engines. It took me, I would say it took me longer. I started in ending of 2020 and um, this is what, 2022. Um, the average cost of flight school is $70,000 to $100,000. Um, I didn't have the, um, the means to do it. So every time um, I got a license, I, I got, I got like, there's this puddle, like there's this roadblock. I stopped, then I saved up, got some money again, stopped. If I had all the funds available, it would have taken me shorter. So six months would be a fair game if you have all the money. And if you don't have that, I've seen people that it took 10 years to get it. I've seen people that it took five years to get it. So um, that's the financial aspect of it. Now, the second part is, uh, it comes down to how fast or how soon can you absorb or how soon does it make sense for you? I felt good that, you know, this is something I was, I was actually, making a lot of people proud um, back home. I mean, right now, um, after getting to this point, getting my commercial pilot license, um, my parents or my, you know, my dad, my mom, um, and now like happy. Initially when they were trying to discourage me, I think it was coming from a good place. Um, they, they just didn't think it was possible. But right now, they are so proud of my achievements. Um, my dad calls me every day, like talking about um, what's the next step forward. Um, right now, I'm time building to get my hours to get to the, um, to the airlines. So um, in, in the US, we need 1,500 hours to get to the airlines and um, I have flown over 270 hours of flight time. Um, I'm actually qualified to fly in Nigeria right now, but um, I got discouraged by my parents saying it's not safe in Nigeria. So an advice I would give to everyone trying to do something huge or something significant would be Perseverance is the word, and that's the only way, you know, I'm here today and also by the special grace of God. So, yeah, just keep going and um, it's going to pay off.